Well, good day, folks, and back out here in the beautiful Australian high country. And man, it is bloody windy today. It's meant to get even windier as the days go on as well. Uh, the plan is to spend the next two nights out here. Um, but like I said, it's meant to get even windier tomorrow and then Sunday is meant to be gusts of up to anywhere between 50 to 80 km hour wind. So it's going to probably be pretty uncomfortable uh, when you're in this sort of big open plain country. There's just not a lot of whole lot of cover. Um, but yeah, it's also meant to rain pretty heavily tomorrow night. So whether I stay for two nights, I'm not quite sure. I'm going to see how it goes tomorrow because um, yeah, it's not going to be very comfortable if it's blowing a gale and um, pouring down rain. But we'll see how we go. But for now, I'm just going to make my way up this river. and. Um, yeah, see if I can land myself a trout for dinner. But yeah, this wind's definitely making the casting pretty difficult. But uh, we'll see how we go. So I was just using this little rainbow trout spoon. But I wasn't really having any luck with that. Just so might switch that over and give this little brown trout rapala a go. So windy. It is making this fishing really difficult. Ah, damn it. I snagged. Mighty cold. Oh, she is fresh. Yes. Oh, how good is that? Phew. Well, I'm not really having much luck. Uh, I have seen a couple of fish, probably about three. And it's always sort of been at the point where I'm starting to pull the lure out of the water. Um, they sort of come up, have a look at it, but then I'm usually pulling out of the water so they swim off. So, yeah, I might um, actually just change up the lure. I was just using one of these brown trout rapalas. Now I'm gonna switch over to little rainbow trout. Where is it? Yeah. Just a little rainbow trout. I've had um, pretty much every trout I've caught, which isn't heaps, but pretty much every one I've caught has been on this lure. So I'll give that a go for a bit and we'll, um, we'll see how we go. And it's such a nice day to be fishing out here. If it wasn't for this wind, it'd be perfect. It's such a lovely temperature and really nice sunny day, but this wind is just making life so difficult, especially when uh, you're a rookie like myself and you're still just trying to learn the ropes, adding uh, this kind of wind to the, the equation makes the life pretty difficult. So I'm hoping I can get one. It might just be um, a little bit still uh, a bit too bright. I'm just going to try and find a, a campsite pretty soon and then um, yeah, hopefully I'll have a little bit, bit more luck uh, closer to sunset.
man, this looks like the perfect little spot. So let's hope there's one hiding here. Damn it! Oh. oh, I can't believe that. He was easily probably 40 centimeters at least, I reckon. That was an absolute crack of a brown trout. Oh, I'm so cut he got away. Oh, honestly, I think the lure that I was using was probably too small for him because uh, one of the hooks is bent and oh, man, I'm so cut about that. I don't have a landing net, so I was trying to get him close to the shore and it's a little bit of a, um, a steep bank and so I was trying to get the line to pull him up onto the shore and he was just jumping around unfortunately he just, yeah, got off the hook, but I'm absolutely devastated by that. That was the fish of my life. Oh, I'm so cut. Oh, I knew there was one um, sitting in this little pool here. Oh, whoa. Oh, sorry, platypus. <laughs> I'm not even joking. That was really cool. Wow. Just came up to the surface, but he's just stuck back under. Oh, man. Absolutely devastated. I have a few more casts, but I'm pretty sure they're onto me now in this pool. Might have to come back here, maybe later this Arvo or, or tomorrow, so depending where I camp. Um, I think I'll definitely be trying this pool on the way back, though. Oh, I'm so cut about that. Oh, that was an absolute ripper. Yeah, so this is a little rainbow trout lure that I'm using. As you can see, the hooks are pretty much bent straight, so I think that trout was a little bit too big for this lure, which is unfortunate, because I definitely have the most success rate with this lure. They seem to love it for some reason. Yeah, I just need bigger hooks on it. Alright, so it's about 5.30, so I've got about two hours until the sun sets. Uh, so I'm just trying to figure out where I want to go to set up camp for the night. Originally, when I was looking at satellite maps, um, I envisioned myself sort of camping a little bit of a trek away. I think it'd probably take me at least an hour to an hour and a half to get there, and it's kind of sort of putting me pretty close to sunset. Um, and also, <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell around here, but the grass is just so thick. It's like honestly up to like chest high grass. So it's honestly not the most ideal place to be camping sort of around this kind of area. Whereas back where I almost caught that fish, there was actually um, a pretty decent sized dirt patch, which I'm kind of tempted to go back there and maybe set up the tent on that because around here, it's just not very fun to <laughs> set up a tent. You won't even be able to see the tent <laughs> through all the grass. So I'm thinking I might backtrack. Um, it is a little bit annoying to backtrack, but Honestly, I think that's a better spot. It's got some better rapids back there. I was looking at the satellite maps and there's not really any good rapids until I sort of get further around this little hill over here. And that's a, it's, a, it's not a huge trek, but it's sort of putting me pretty close to sunset. And I kind of want to set up pretty soon and just relax for a bit and um, yeah, go for a fish. So I don't want to be sort of pressed for time. So I think I might go back to yeah, that original spot. <sighs> All right, well, I didn't have the camera going again, but I chucked the lure out, fish grabbed it, jumped out of the water and then spat the lure out. So, yeah, cannot win today, can I? But uh, we'll keep having a bit more of a go and hopefully get something before dinner. All right, well, I think this is where I'm gonna set up camp. It's a nice, clear area, whereas everything else is sort of covered in knee to waist high grass. So, this should uh, allow me to set up my one-man tent. It's a really nice spot as well, so cannot complain about this.
So I've got about an hour till the sun sets. It's just about to dip behind this little hill pretty soon. Uh, so I might just get some water into me. I haven't really drank much water today. And uh, then we'll go for a fish pretty soon. Plenty of time now. I feel like I've earned this after today. It's been such a long day. I left home at about 4.30 this morning and it's now quarter to nine. <laughs> and I have not stopped all day. So I'm pretty buggered. So once again, it's gonna be a pretty late dinner. That's the problem with daylight savings. It just throws out my nighttime sort of patterns. Like, when you're out in the bush um, on a camping trip, it's just, I don't know, you just, I tend to eat when it gets dark, but it's getting dark at nine o'clock, so I'm generally eating at nine o'clock, which is way too late. I really need to start trying to cook dinner about 6.30 or something, and then I can always do fishing after that, but I to try and prioritize my time a little bit better in the future. I'm so keen for this. That is damn good. All right, so for dinner tonight, we're gonna make a Mexican bowl. So I've got some black rice here, which is pretty much already cooked. Um, you meant to chuck in the microwave for 90 seconds, but I think if I just put that in my, my cup with a little bit of water, heat up for a couple of minutes, I think it should be done. And then it's got some red kidney beans. Um, over here, we got some, uh, what do you call it? Like taco sauce, enchilada sauce, whatever it's called. Uh, so I'll combine that with the beans. And we've got some corn, which will sort of just fry up a little bit. Avocado to make some guacamole. That's just some olive oil. Uh, this is a red onion wrapped up in some beeswax wrap. And a tomato. So it's a pretty simple dinner, to be honest. All I have to do is um, yeah, just heat this up a bit and then mix that with that. Um, chuck down the fire just to heat it through. And then just, yeah, prepare the guacamole. So it's a pretty quick and easy one, which is good. So let's get that going. Alright, so just first up, we'll put the rice in the nesting cup, just with a little bit of water, and we'll just heat that through. We'll just add a little bit of water. We'll just put the kidney beans, so these have already been drained, which is good. And then we'll just add the Mexican sauce. Just mix that through. Let's try a little bit of that. Yep, that's done. 
and we'll just heat up the kidney beans. All right. Just gonna move that aside while that's heating up, and we'll add the corn. Yes, yeah, so just in this beeswax wrap. Just got the red onion. All right, so the corn and the beans are heated through. So I'll move that aside. Rice. And we'll add the tomato and onion. And lastly, the avocado, which is hands down the most important part of the whole meal. We'll just top it off with a little bit of salt. Man, this looks so good. Man, this is actually really nice though. Like, it wasn't too hard either. Pretty, um, pretty quick and easy to make. Give me a few corn chips when you go astray. Some sour cream would be nice as well, but I'm yet to hike sour cream into the bush. I don't know how that would go not being refrigerated. So <laughs> that might be a little bit sketchy. I'm willing to push cheeses, but I'm not sure about cream. That seems like a, a recipe for disaster. Well, it's a very clear night tonight, and it's definitely started to um, yeah, drop in temperature. It's getting too chilly now. And it's pretty late as well, I think it's about quarter to ten, so <laughs> pretty late dinner for me tonight. So I think it's probably about time to wrap it up. I'll finish this and I'll go to bed and I'll see you guys nice Sunday tomorrow morning. And hopefully we can land ourselves a trout. So I'll see you guys then. Yeah, so that's the lure that I was having some luck with yesterday, but like I said, I feel like the hooks are just a little bit too weak um, for the trout in here, so I might try something else. I was also given this little brown trout rapala a go yesterday. I didn't really have too many strikes with it though, so I might try something else this morning. But I got this little lure the other day, which I'm pretty keen to have a go with. The shimmers in the light, which is um, which is cool. Which I think that's the benefit of this lure here is it shimmers compared to the Rapalas. They don't seem to shimmer, and so when they're going through the water, this really um, reflects the water. I think it grabs their attention a lot better. So I'm wondering if um, this might have the same effect. So I think I might give that one a go. Well, that wind's already picked up. It's going to get stronger throughout the day. I'm still kind of trying to decide what I should do tonight. You know, whether I should hang around or, or leave. I was just checking the weather report on my phone just before and yeah, it's meant to get pretty strong this Arvo. Um, the rain's meant to come at about three o'clock and it's meant to be pretty heavy um, all throughout the night. 
and then the winds gonna be about 35 km hour winds today um, and then in, throughout the night at about 9 o'clock it's meant to get even windier um, up to sort of 40 to 50 km hour winds and that's meant to hang around all tonight and all day tomorrow so it doesn't really sound like too much fun so I might just um, yeah so I might just sort of see how we go today see what the weather's like uh, the clouds are going to come over a bit later and yeah, I might make the call then, but I'm kind of thinking I might bail today. I just don't think it's going to be that fun hanging around in really wet and windy weather. So, we'll see how we go. Um, but first things first, we'll cast the line in and I'll pack this down soon as well. Here's proof that it's probably a little bit too windy to film today. The wind just blew my camera over and smashed my new, uh, neutral density filter. Got banged up pretty good. But it seems like the camera's alright, the lens seems okay and luckily they had the flip screen out but luckily it didn't smash the flip screen off which I'm very, um, very happy about because I thought that would have broken off for sure. Um, so yeah, I was having this problem yesterday trying to film like the tripod just keeps like getting um, yeah, blown over. It's really difficult and it's only gonna get windier throughout the day. So I think that's probably a good indication that this trip might get cut short, unfortunately. But um, anyway, I'm just packed up camp now. I'm gonna tidy up the fire pit, get the bag on, and then we'll go for a fish. with this guy so I'm just gonna try and change up the lures I'm gonna try this I haven't used this before I actually got sent this um, by a bloke uh, it's called blue ring tackle he sent me a couple of these lures it says they're really great for brim um, but they should work on trout as well so might just give these a go so I'm just gonna crimp down the barbs I prefer to crimp down the barbs it's just especially when I do a catch and release it's so much um yeah, easier on the fish to get the hook out of the mouth and uh, also when you're out in the bush by yourself and you're quite remote I think it's just safer to have barbless hooks if I was to get this into my leg or my arm or something it'd be so painful to try and rip this out with a barb on it whereas if I um, yeah, crimp the barbs it'd be a little bit easier to get it out of me yeah cool so let's give that guy a go Today, unfortunately, uh, I've changed a lure about three or four times, and yeah, I haven't really got a single bite yet. I haven't even seen a single fish either, so I'm not sure whether it's me or whether this wind is sort of throwing them off, or whether there's just not that many fish in this particular section of the river. I'm not quite sure. The wind's definitely throwing me off, it's making my life so difficult casting. 
and so it's definitely getting stronger now so I'm just gonna keep trying for a little bit um, as I sort of walk back towards where my car is and hopefully we can get something between now and then. <laughs> I aim for there and it ends up over here. <laughs> oh, this wind is a nightmare. Alright, so I'm just going to change up the lure again. I'm thinking about trying out these little strike tiger nymphs. Just got them um, yesterday. Or I could go back to the old faithful that was um, served me well yesterday. But pretty keen to try out these little tiger nymphs. So let's give them a go. Hopeless. You think there'd definitely be a fish hiding in here somewhere. Got a nice, I tried up in that section over there, now I'm trying over here and no luck whatsoever. Oh, it's so hard to cast as well in this wind. Man, it's getting so windy now. We've got some darker clouds rolling in as well, so I think we might be getting that rain soon. And the fish don't want to play, so I think it's about time we call it and make my way back to my car. back when I did got some pretty dark clouds rolling in I can start to feel that rain and that wind is so strong right now about to blow me off this hill so yeah I think it's definitely a smart move to call it when I did which is a shame because I would have liked to have stayed another night but it's not that much fun when you're camping out in weather like this and plus the fish weren't really cooperating with me so it's probably not much point anyway still had a nice day yesterday it was nice to um, explore this new area and almost caught a few fish um, that one that got away honestly would have been the fish of my lifetime so I'm spewing that that got away but uh, it's always next year. Um, so yeah, anyway, let's just wrap the video up here. Just want to say a big thanks to all you guys watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, this will probably be my last video for 2020. Um, and apart from the coronavirus, it's actually been a really awesome year in terms of camping trips. We've been in some pretty awesome locations this year and uh, it's been nice to take you guys along. So hope you guys enjoyed it. So yeah, before I get blown off this hill, I um, just want to wrap the video up here. Say a big thanks again and I'll see you guys next time.